Check, 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 check. All right, here we go. Take two, take three, maybe. All right, so here's a nice play that the Spurs run off the baseline, what I'm gonna call diamond, and that's to get Devin Vassell this jump shot here in the short corner. Now, they're set up in this diamond formation, and they're bringing that extra player up by half court to pull his defender out there with him, take him out of the picture, and take him out of the play. The first action in this play is Devin Vassell going to set a screen for Bryn Forbes, and that's gonna get Bryn Forbes coming all the way around to the corner, and that's gonna be option number one for Derek White. After Devin Vassell sets this first screen, then Jakob Hurdle is going to be setting a screen for him. Jakob Hurdle is very important at this point. He's looking at whoever is guarding Devin Vassell right now is who I'm going to be screening. Depending on how the defense reacts to the first action is going to you know, tell Jakob who's guarding who. So Jakob has to be smart here and screen the right guy, right? And that's going to bring Devin Vassell around Jakob all the way to that short corner on the catch. So Derek White has to look off option one to set up his defender away from where he actually does want to make the pass, right? When I'm coaching, we call that faking a pass to make a pass, right? You got to fake option one to get option two off. Christian Wood doesn't look like he's going to be switching off of Jakob. So he's more just directing the defense right now, um, which wasn't enough to get uh, a defender in front of Devin Vassell soon enough because once Devin Vassell catches this ball in the short corner with any type of space we've seen in this preseason already, Devin Vassell is able to knock down uh, a jumper at a high clip, especially when he's uncontested. He gets this look off clean and the bucket goes down. Great execution, 